a bride named Nancy was marrying a guy named Sam. They were a real happy couple. They loved each other so much. She thought, this is what she said. This will be a great place to hide. Nobody will find me here. This will be a great place to hide. No one will find me here. But then, on accident, the thing slammed shut, and nobody could see. But she was very happy, but until the whole thing collapsed on her head and knocked her unconscious. And then, nobody knows how long she screamed for help, but she screamed for help a long time. And then she almost fainted because she of lack of air. 98, 99, 100. Ready or not, here I come. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, God, I almost got you. <laughs> Let's play duck, duck, duck. But where's Nancy? Nancy? For Nancy, Nancy, and after a week Nancy. of searching, they Nancy. gave her up for lost. Nancy! We'll continue with the second half in a while. After a week, they gave her up for lost. Everybody was so sad. And one day, a maid thought, I have something to get up in that attic, six years later. And so she went up in the attic, searching in everywhere. Then she said, hmm, I know there's something up here. Hey, maybe it's in the trunk. And she opened it up and fainted. Ah! Only she found the body of the bride. Then everybody found out what had happened to her. The end. <laughs> the story of the bride was taken from the book More Scary Stories to Tell in Jarts. The bride's best friend was played by Charlotte Black. The groom was played by Amy Christians. And the bride was played by Lisa Meyer. Let's give this great cast a hand. <laughs> the end. Da -na -na -na. This is the story, Clinkity Clink, from the book More Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. In this story, there's an old lady named Amy. She doesn't have many close friends or any relatives. But there's one girl named Estelle who's always stayed close to her in her elderly years. Oh, honey. You got some more stuff in the mail, honey. Got a book. It's a new release of Tell and Teller. Want me to read some of it? Sure. Tell and Teller. Tell and Teller was a bright little girl. But, but one day, their, her parents,
blanket. No, our bill is a blanket. Well, we could say cool. Sure, it's funny to see such a dead person. Yeah, it's kind of scary. After the grave diggers got asleep, a huge storm came up, and all they could hear was the clinkety clink of those coins, and they were scared to death. Then they heard a noise, faint off in the distance, it sounded like somebody moaning, but they weren't quite sure. Who has my coins? It sounded like the old lady. Then she walked in. All they could hear was a clinkety clink and the moaning of the lady. You got it! <laughs> the great cast of this show was Collier Black. Please stand up. He played grave robber number two. And John Christensen played grave robber number one. Then Amy played the ghost of Mary. And then Charlotte played the preacher and, the, and Estelle. And Gina played, Gina Christensen played the doctor and the neighbor. Thank you for this great cast.